100 rated chess, but it's pure testosterone. Every move needs to be fucking giga chad level of testosterone. Ha, if I have to choose one challenge that represent my personality, it has to be this one. We get a 168 from the United Kingdom. Pushing pawn one square doesn't sound very giga chad. E4. E5. Now I get to choose the opening, and there is no opening that can be more giga chad than king e2. Come at me you coward. Knight f6. Aha. That knight is attacking my pawn, but developing a knight to defend it doesn't sound very giga chad. So you know what? I'll defend it with my fucking king. Knight takes e4. Aha. He is literally challenging me to advance my king forward, and as a giga chad, I cannot say no. King takes e4. Is best. Absolutely amazing. C6. Aha. He is once again trying to challenge me to keep advancing my king. And also once again. I'm not going to refuse it. Fun fact. King e5 is actually blundering a king to d5. King d4 queen f6 king d3 bishop f5 king e3 queen e6 king f4 queen e4 king g5 h6 king h5 g6 a very textbook checkmate in 7 with a pawn. But there's no way he's seeing it. Right? Absolutely. King d4 and king f4 should be safe, but as a giga chat, I'll keep my king on the open file. This also blunders another textbook checkmate in 7 that I'm not gonna show here because everyone can see it. So let's see if he sees d5, he does. Retreating the king sounds very cowardly. King e5. Queen f6 checkmate in 1 by the way. Ha! Now I'm forced to move my king back. Queen e4 check. King c3 is forced. Again, I'm not a coward, I'm being forced to make these moves. And there it is, the long awaited woman blunder. c5. I'll take this pawn. A capture is 100% a giga chad move. Resignation. Mission. Accomplished.